Hey guys, so I'm here with a current favorites video or October favorites if that's what you guys want to prefer. So it's an October slash current favorites. I've been meaning to do one of these for a while now and I just haven't um, had the time or gotten myself together, meaning glam, to film the video. So now that I did, which by the way, this day goes down in history. Today, um, where I'm from Illinois, slash Chicago, because everybody says Chicago, and today it's the Cubs um, World Series parade going on downtown, and I couldn't make it. I didn't want to take the kids with me, and I had no babysitters, so instead, I'm filming my favorites for you guys. So let's get started. So I have three pairs of shoes that I wanted to share with you guys um, that are my favorite. I'm obsessed with them. I've been wearing them for a while now since I got them. The first ones, they're already kind of raggedy, so I'm sorry. They are these pink slip-ons that I got from uh, Victoria's Secret slash Pink Store. Um, I got these when I was in Vegas, and I've worn them so much that look at what happened. I already ripped them somehow. So they just strap on like this. But they are just so comfortable. Honestly, I need to get myself another pair because I don't mind going out with these when I run out of the house for a quick um, like CVS or Walgreens or something and I'm kind of embarrassed now that they're ripped but I love these and I think they're only like 25 bucks from the pink store I got these Adidas the black with the gold and as you can see they are a little dirty so I have been wearing them quite often um, I like to try to look cute when I can when I'm out with the kids and obviously heels will not do because I still have a baby and I mean I'm walking around with three kids that I just need to be comfortable in so these I feel like still make me look cool and hip and young and are classic but look good with the outfits so love these shoes I actually have to clean them because I've worn them quite a bit now my next pair I am obsessed with I these were a gift from me to me on my birthday these shoes I've gotten so many compliments on I shared them on my snapchat so um, you guys some of you might have seen them there but these shoes oh look at how now I one pair I like cleaned them up a bit for you guys so you guys just can see how beautiful they look okay but the other pair is I left dirty just so you guys can see how much I've been wearing them the last time I wore these I shouldn't have worn them and it was kind of rainy and it was just kind of muddy where I was so I was kind of upset that that happened to me but um, I'm gonna clean them up but these are from Inc International Concepts this is I got these at Macy's for my birthday they're just like rhinestone slash glitter heaven glory like these are so pretty and they I feel like they're comfortable but they also like glam up your outfit you know and me like I said with my kids I need to be comfortable but cute purse that I'm going to show you guys and I'm kind of embarrassed because it's pretty busted right now but it's just to show you guys how much I have used it so this little white purse that I carried for the last few months um, everywhere. It went to Vegas with me. It went to Mexico with me to Cancun. It just has just been through it and back. Okay. It's an all white purse, but it is kind of dirty. I have to clean it, but honestly, I think I'm just going to throw it away. I'm going to have to let it go. Just let it go because it actually is really ripped from the inside. And like you see right here, this is ripped where the little zipper pocket is. It's just really tore up, but this purse I got from Forever 21, and I got it because um, I don't like carrying big purses when I have to carry a diaper bag, so I was just like, okay, this will be good like for on the go, um, just crossbody kind of thing, but it also has been out with me at night, at nighttime, when I've had to go out, I just open it, and then the strap, because you can't really take it off, what I do is I just stuff it in the purse like this and then it becomes like a big clutch 
And I don't mind it just because it fits all my stuff in there. It has two little zippers on the side. I got this a while back. All I know it's is from Forever 21 and I've been obsessed with it. But I think I'm going to have to let it go. I might try to wash it and save it a little, see if it can be fixed. But, I mean, come on. You guys can obviously tell how much I've been using this purse. Okay, now for my makeup favorites, these liners I have been in love with. Um, and I particularly wanted to do a video of favorites because I wanted it special for this eyeliner. Um, this is from Maybelline and it's the Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil. This right here, guys, it's the creamiest black pencil that I have used in a long time. I used to be a big fan of... Uh, Urban Decay's uh, liners, but I don't think they're as good as this one. And this is Drugstore Maybelline, so it's so affordable. I think it's like $8, depending on where you get it. But it is just so creamy. I use this for myself, I use this for the client, and the clients have noticed. They're like, oh, what is that? I want to buy it. So Maybelline liner, this is the bomb. Next eyeliner that I have been loving is the L'Oreal Paris, the Super Slim Infallible. 12 hour liquid liner it looks like this it's just like a pen I'm not too in love with the fact that it's a pen kind of liner but it does make it pretty easy um, and I love how fine it is a brow pencil that I have been in love with um, is this L'Oreal Paris brow stylist definer ultra fine tip shaping pencil this is I mean honestly I think it's better than the Anastasia pencil um, I actually purchased together when I don't even have it anymore. I just gave it to my mom yesterday. I purchased the Makeup Forever Brow Pen Pencil, but it was kind of, it's not as thin as this. This is a round, oh, and you guys can hear the baby, I'm sorry. My husband and the baby are right behind me, which is the kitchen. But, uh, the other one was like a square tip. Then it was supposed to make it easier, I don't know. It was like a squared flat tip, and I just did not like it, so I gave it to my mom. She was looking for her brow pencil yesterday here at a store by me, and I guess they discontinued them. So I was like, oh, here, I don't like this one, you want to try it? So I gave it to her. But this is like just a really fine, round tip. It really does remind me of the Anastasia brow pencils, but I feel like it's, I don't know, I just feel like it's better. I do have some Anastasia pencils, uh, like, re currently, and I just always grab for this one. So, L'Oreal really threw it down with this brow pencil. I have it in blonde. I use it for my kit as well, for my makeup clients. Brunette, but brunette is right now, it's my color. I have not gotten my roots done, which, ugh, cannot wait till I get my hair done. My stylist went out of town, and I don't know if he's going to be back in time before I have to go on a trip go to mascara for a long time now is the L'Oreal telescopic mascara now I think the other one was different packaging so I don't know what the difference is I think the only different thing from this one and the other one which is the same mascara but this one says carbon black I don't think the other one said that um, so this is it I love this mascara because of how small the wand is I only use it well no I for my lower lashes, I only use this mascara. When I can't find it, I'm like I'm so upset. But I do mix this on my top lashes with this other one. Um, I think together they make a great combo. This one is CoverGirl Plumping Blast Pro Mascara. Um, I think it's a newer one. I just bought it to try it and I really like them together. Um, this one has a really big wand, so it does make it a little tricky to apply, but I feel like this one gives my lashes volume. So the both together is perfect, the volume one, and then to lengthen them and separate them. The foundation that I have been using a lot and I just repurchased is this Too Faced Born This Way foundation, and right now I'm using the color Sand. I just really like how this doesn't dry up my face, and it's... I like the coverage on it. I really don't think it's full coverage. It says it's medium to full coverage. Um, but it covers up pretty well. But yeah, I feel like it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look too cakey. It's not drying. Um, it's not too oily. I really like it. So this is the Maybelline uh, Master Contour Palette in number 20, medium to deep. 
What I love about this palette, which I honestly didn't think I was going to like it when I bought it, but I was like, let me try this because for my everyday makeup, I feel like I'm always, where is this, where is that? I can't get my stuff together. So I'm like, this has a contour color, a blush color, and a highlight. So I just wanted to kind of make my own get ready with me situation a little faster, a little easier if I had to carry it around. This is so cool for that, and I love it. I really, really didn't think this highlight was going to be good at all but it is so I'm wearing it today I hope with my lighting situation you guys can see it but it is just I love the blush color the contour color could probably be a little darker for me my liking but um, I mean it it does its job okay and I don't remember how much I paid for it but I'm sure it was affordable because it was drugstore and it's by Maybelline and it gives you instructions on the back how to use it to come with a mirror no mirror but that's okay so the other Maybelline product that I'm going to talk about is their lipsticks and this is the bold collection this is what they look like I bought a few colors but the color that I'm really obsessed with that I wish they would have came out with this a uh, few years ago because I remember trying to find a drugstore color uh, like this a drugstore lipstick and I couldn't at the time and I finally found it but I already have a few other ones but this one is for the price. It's uh, awesome. For the price, it's amazing. I got it at Walmart, so I got it like the cheapest you can find it. It's $7.90 Midnight Merlot. And I'm just going to swatch it for you guys. But that's the color. It's just so pretty. And it's like a matte, and it's not too drying. So I like how it moisturizes, but it's not like too, you know, patchy. It still has a nice sheen to it see it right there but love this color for the fall love it headphones that I love using at the gym because I have small ears and by the way I do get made fun of for that um, and these headphones are awesome for small ears I can't use like the round ones like the hard headphones because after a while my ears start hurting and I get a headache so these are just perfect like they have the little rubber earpiece and I can just listen to music all day with these. These are so comfortable. These are from Philips, but I also have them in white, and I don't know what brand they are. I just love having this type of headphone because I'm like so old school, ain't I? Nowadays, you're like wireless beats and stuff, and I'm over here with the old school plug-in. Don't make fun of me. Don't judge me. Some of my favorite songs at the, at the moment to work out on, um, to work out with, so this is what I'll be playing in my headphones while I'm getting it in in the gym. Let me show you guys. So that's Carlos Vives and Shakira. It's called La Bicicleta. And then another one of my favorites is, oh my god, guys, this one. Kanye West I actually went to his concert and I am obsessed with that song. That song is the one that gets me started at the gym. So, um, obviously Kanye West Fade. Oh wait, that one's called Father Stretch My Hands Part 1. I like Part 2, Kanye West Fade. That's, hello. I mean, I even watched the video while I'm working out because uh, Tiana Taylor is amazing. Okay, that body though. songs that are currently listening to when I to get me pumped up when I go to the gym and that's it for my favorites I do have one more and I'm wearing it right now it is this shirt it's a slate all day so this shirt with this detail that I got 
I've been loving it. I have to remember where it's from, guys. I don't remember. Oh, okay. This shirt is from Charlotte Roos Plus line, and I am obsessed with. So yeah, that is everything that I have for my current favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, this was part of a haul that I was going to film, but I just started wearing the clothes. So then I'm like, oh, I don't know if I should still do the haul. Do you guys want to see a haul with um, some plus size clothes that I currently got? I hate saying plus size. Not that I'm like ashamed or anything. I just feel like it shouldn't matter. Like if you guys heard, Khloe Kardashian just came out with her denim collection. And I love the concept of it that you don't have, she didn't separate them and put like regular sizes in one side of the store and plus sizes in another. She just has size 0 to 24 I believe all in one side of the store. Like you know you don't have to say hey wear are plus sizes. So I hate that I have to say hey you guys want to see a plus size haul. But um, so yeah anyways do you guys want to see the haul of the clothes that I bought? It was, it was going to have like a bunch of fall boots that I got. Um, and some like fall clothing that I got. So if you guys still want to see that video, let me know down below in the comments. Then I can film it for you guys. And yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this favorites video. Go follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. Uh, it's That's all Jackie. Just like my YouTube name. I also have a vlog channel, duh. Um, which I upload there more consistently. If you guys want to go follow that, it's Jackie Vlogs. J-A-C-K-I Vlogs. Here on YouTube. Um... But yeah, I think that's it. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for watching and thank you if you're already subscribed. Please like this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!